Mr. Knightley, a sensible man about 7 or 8 and 30, was not only a very old and intimate friend of the family, but particularly connected with it as the elder brother of Isabella's husband. He lived about a mile from Highbury, was a frequent visitor, and always welcome, and at this time more welcome than usual, as coming directly from their mutual connections in London. He had returned to a late dinner, after some days' absence, and now walked up to Hartfield to say that all were well in Brunswick Square. It was a happy circumstance, and animated Mr. Woodhouse for some time. Mr. Knightley had a cheerful manner, which always did him good, and as many inquiries after poor Isabella and her children were answered most satisfactorily. When this was over, Mr. Woodhouse gratefully observed, It is very kind of you, Mr. Knightley, to come out at this late hour to call upon us. I am afraid you must have had a shocking walk. Not at all, sir. It is a beautiful moonlight night, and so mild that I must draw back from your great fire. But you must have found it very damp and dirty. I wish you may not catch cold. Dirty, sir. Look at my shoes. Not a speck on them. Well, that is quite surprising, for we have had a vast deal of rain here. It rained dreadfully hard for half an hour while we were at breakfast. I wanted them to put off the wedding. By the by, I have not wished you joy. Being pretty well aware of what sort of joy you must both be feeling. I have been in no hurry with my congratulations, but I hope it all went off tolerably well. How did you all behave? Who cried most? <laughs>